Let's take a look at bid mass. Now the word bid mass helps us remember the order of operations. In what order do you need to do the various bits and pieces in a question when there's a combination of adding and multiplying and indices, etc. So B stands for brackets. That tells us the brackets need to be dealt with first. After brackets, you need to deal with indices. Now indices are the numbers, the little numbers you see to the right of digits. So for example, five and a, li a little two means five to the power of two or five squared. And that means five times five or uh, four to the power of three or four cubed, four times four times four or seven to the power of six, which would be seven times seven times seven times seven times seven times seven. So the six sevens there. Although don't worry, you never see anything quite as horrible as that. After indices, we need to do dividing, then multiplying, then we do adding, and finally we do subtraction. So the DMAS is quite easy to remember because these are fairly common operations, but just remember that the B stands for brackets and I stands for indices, these small numbers here. Let's take a look at a few examples. Now in the first example, we have some brackets, so we need to do the calculation that's inside the brackets first. One plus three is four, so we can change that to four squared, four to the power of two. So we also have indices, so we're gonna take care of the four to the power of two next, which means four times four, 16. So the question is now seven times five plus three minus 16. So we have multiplying, adding and subtracting. We need to do the multiplying first. Seven fives are 35. So the question is now 70, 35 plus the three minus the 16. So we're gonna do the adding before we do the taking away. 35 plus three is 38. Now we can take away the 16, giving us 22. In the second example, there's no, there are no brackets, there are no indices, but there is division, nine divided by three, that is three. We also have multiplying as well, eight threes are 24, five twos are 10. And now all we've got left with is the adding and the subtracting. We're gonna do the adding first. 24 plus 10 is 34, minus the three, so the answer is 31. When you've got a fraction, what we need to do is work out everything on the top then everything on the bottom and maybe do some division. This line in a fraction does mean divide um, or you can maybe just leave your answer as a fraction. So let's have a look at the top line here. So we've got brackets, we've got two sets of brackets. So in this first set I've, of brackets, I've got indices and addition. So I need to do the indices first. Three squared means three times three, which is nine. So in this bracket, I've got nine plus 12 and nine plus 12 is 21. So on the, all of this is just 21 minus, here we've got brackets. We're gonna do the brackets before we do the indices. One plus two is three. So this is just three squared and three squared is nine. So the top is 21 take away nine and the bottom, we're gonna do the indices first two squared, two times two is four, minus one is three. So the top line is 21 take away nine, which is 12 over three. And this line, remember, needs means divide, 12 divided by three, so the answer is four. Let's look at the next one. Again, let's do the top line uh, first. So six plus two, we've got brackets there, is eight. So we've now got eight squared minus and here we have some more brackets, five times nine, which is 45. Do the indices next, eight squared is 64. So on the top, we have 64, take away 45. So on the top here, we have 19. And on the bottom, we have two um, sets of indices here, six squared, which is 36, six times six, take away four squared, which is 16, four times four. 36 minus 16 is 20. So our answer is 19 twentieths. Um, and I think as the as this is um, a fraction where the number on the top is less than the number on the bottom, so this is definitely a value which is less than one, it's fine just to leave it as 19 twentieths, unless of course the question asks you to turn it into a decimal, in which case 19 divided by 20 would be the calculation.